Welcome back to the channel today. Uh, we are going to be discussing uh, choosing magazines for a 1911. I know it sounds simple, right? You just uh, you just put one in your cart and, and ship it to your door. But um, finding one that works reliably is um, is seen to be some of the issues I've run out in with. So I'm going to reel in some examples. I have a new mag. We are going to head to the range and we're going to test it. Uh, actually, I got two mags. Uh, the one is the newest. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, make this weapon clear. Okay, nothing in it. Magazine's empty. This is my llama or llama, as said in Spain. Um, this is the. Let me get the focus here. Made in Spain. This is the OEM mag. Um, you know, this gun was made in 1987, so you know. <laughs> It comes with one. It came with one mag. So this mag has seen a lot, a lot of work. I mean, I've personally probably two, two thousand rounds or so through this gun. I've had it for a long time now. She don't get shot like she used to, but at one time this was like my house gun, my only gun, um, and sentimental. I've I've held on to it. Um, it's not a highly valuable gun, but um, she just works. Um, so. And are sentimental to it. Um, so, uh, these magazines, OEM uh, Llama Max, are extremely, extremely hard to find. And when they do pop up for sale, you're paying. I mean, I'm talking like 60 bucks, okay, for a used magazine. So, that's kind of hard to stomach, um, you know, paying that for a used magazine. And, you know, this magazine right here is... You know, it's seen its trouble. Um, I've got to stretch the spring out every so often. Um, the the feed lips, I had to actually close those a little bit because uh, it was starting to, uh, you'd pull the magazine out of the gun and all the bullets would just pop out. Um, so it's seen its, uh, <laughs> it's seen its prime, should we say. Um, but <clears throat> it's max still runs. Um, as long as I keep the, the spring stretched in it, um, keep my uh my calipers on my um my feed lips here making sure that they don't open up anymore so uh several years ago you know i bought this here this is a metgar okay so you can see it's uh made in italy metgar magazine their actual logo this is the nickel so the problem i have and if you look the area uh, this one wasn't so bad, but you can see I actually broke this tab off, trying to bend this upwards so that I could get some slide lock. Um, a lot of the issues I'm running in with is this isn't wide enough to actually engage the lever. As you can see, there's not much uh, fall where it's actually engaging the slide lock lever. Um, now, this mag still runs well, even without that in there. Um, and sometimes it'll lock open, sometimes it won't. Um, but you cannot count on it to lock open because that's when it don't. Um, so, here recently, um, you know, I've been kind of researching or wanting to buy some more mags for this gun. Um, so I picked up another one. Now, this one was blued. Uh, the picture looked different, but as you can see, this magazine follower will not engage slide lock no matter what what I do it will not lock slide back um, and if you go bending on this uh, you take a real good chance of breaking that follower just clean off and then you could have some feeding issues out of it uh, with this piece missing so I got searching around on the internet or on eBay and uh, Amazon, mainly eBay. And, you know, I just started searching uh, nine round, nine millimeter, 1911 magazines. Searching, searching, searching. And this is what I found. Okay. 
This here is a Taurus magazine. And it's for a 9 round, 9 millimeter, 1911 that they make. And I couldn't find too much information on it, but just going off of the pictures and stuff. Um, as you can tell, I mean, Taurus, they make, some of their guns are sketchy, but one thing I can't say about Taurus is they can make a magazine. Um, you know, and this one has the anti-tilt follower in it. Nice and bright. Um, nice shiny uh, finish on it. A nice base plate to give you a good lock up into your magwell because as if you 1911 guys know your grips protrude a little bit so you got to have the proper cuts in your floor plate okay for that to fit and uh, it seems to be a good fit um, don't look too hateful and best part she locks slide back and it drops free. Now, I haven't tested it. Um, we are going to go to the range. Um, I haven't even loaded this magazine up yet or cleaned it or anything. I literally just got it, uh, opened it up for the video, and uh, I'm going to load it up and we're going to head to the range. Now, I do expect some issues, at least possibly. We, we take a good chance of some issues. Uh, it's new. It's never been set loaded i generally like to load my magazines for a day or two when they're new then hit the range um it just kind of helps so if we have a couple issues out of the gate uh, i'm not going to be too judgmental on that because this is this is really stiff really stiff spring um so same thing with this magazine here this is a new one this is a metgar i will shoot this in the video as well it hasn't been loaded up yet because these both uh this came in a couple days ago um, this came in today. So, let's head to the range and let's see what kind of results we can get out of this magazine. Because uh, I, I feel that this is a better constructed magazine. And I really want it to work because uh, this will probably be what I keep in the gun. So, no further ado. Let's head to the range see what kind of results we get. Okay, so we're out here testing the Taurus mag and the Llama. Um, I've already put a couple rounds through it just to test. Um, the magazine spring hasn't had a really good time to um, break in. Uh, I am getting a couple feeding issues, but I'm hoping to keep running it and it should clear up. So let's go ahead and uh, resume with the test and we'll get a couple, uh, couple of uh, rain sessions in here. Okay, so here we go. We are testing the... Um, uh, Taurus 1911 magazine and the llama. Um, I've already ran about four mags through it so far, and in each magazine, I did have a failure to feed. Um, so I'm hoping to keep running it, and it seems to be two or three out of the magazine, then boom, it happens. So um, we'll just keep running it, see, see how it goes. it right there and it almost looks like it's going to be a uh, um, stove pipe until you, you actually pull the round out so okay all right well we'll just keep going with this uh hopefully it's just a break-in issue with the magazine i haven't had time to let it set loaded uh, nor did i clean it out So, we'll continue the test here, and um, we'll just keep running this thing, and hopefully it uh, hopefully it clears up. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it will. If not, it might just need uh, might need cleaned out or something. So, um, let's load it up again and see what happens. We're going to try another mag here. Um, I'm going to run an OEM mag. This is the, the actual factory magazine. Um, I want to make sure that this is a magazine issue. 
and not a gun issue. Um, this gun don't make it out of the safe too often, so yeah, I haven't shot it in a while, so I just want to make sure that there's nothing internally wrong with the gun. So, factory Spanish Llama magazine, nine rounds in it. Seem to go good. Taurus 1911 magazine. It is really stiff and I did just take it apart. Um, there wasn't any grease or anything like there that I could see that would be causing any kind of issue. So let's try it one more time. I'm not going to give up on it because it seems to be in the same spot every time. Maybe there was something in there that I just couldn't see with the naked eye. When I cleaned it out, I, I pulled a, a rag through it and wiped grease off and cleaned the follower. Uh, I didn't see anything, but that mag ran good. So that's plus this is like mag five. Maybe it's starting to break in. So let's continue. I'm going to at least put two or three more mags in it and we'll debate where we're at from there. Okay, so we're going to try another mag. I've had this one setting for a couple minutes while I shot a couple other things. Um, this is setting with plus one right now. So fully loaded mag, that's nine, one in the chamber. Um, see if this thing does any better. I'm talking about she's getting better guys um i literally just bought it today or got got it in the mail today i loaded it up for maybe an hour uh, and then like spur of the moment me and the boy decided to hit the range today so i normally like to let these set for 24 hours before attempting to try to shoot them but it seems like uh something is is starting to loosen up inside that magazine and she's starting to work so um i'm going to do this again i'm going to load the mag up and then i'm going to bring out an example of a good brand magazine uh one that we all know and uh, adore and um i'll show you it's actually a bad magazine so let me load that one up and i'll bring in the uh bad mag essentially this is an example of a really good magazine this is actually a metgar brand new blue i also got a nickel one it does the same thing um I was kind of hoping when I bought this, it was cheap. It was like 19 bucks. I paid like almost $40 for the Taurus one. Um, but I think that the Taurus magazine is a better constructed one uh, with the plastic non-tilt follower. This one, I have no question that it'll run, but it will not lock the slide back. So, yes, it runs, but this still is a malfunction in my opinion. So, let's uh, go ahead and let's run this. Nine shots. Actually, right there. I fell to eject. Uh, the magazine's never been loaded, so that, I'm not going to judge it because that could just be a... Uh, um, could just be a really tight spring issue. Will not lock the slide back. Um, this kind of follower in here. Um, a 1911 is the Achilles heel of any 1911 is going to be the magazines. 
Um, and I've looked at Wilson Combats and some Chip McCoys, and they all have the same follower. This is why I went with the Taurus. Uh, so I just wanted to reel that in, uh, that 1911 Heart and Soul magazine. Uh, I'm going to load up that Taurus mag. I'm going to let it set. I'm going to grab a couple other things, have some fun. I'm going to let it set. I'll reel in one more mag of it. And I think we're going to call the video that. I think it's running good now. So let's do that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to do one last mag on the um, the Taurus uh, um, 1911 9mm magazine and the Llama. It's been setting for, I don't know, about 10 minutes while we uh, played around with some other guns. So let's see uh, if she's still running good and see if the issue, if, if, if this mag goes good, I'm going to say it's, uh, it's basically cleared up uh, and the mag's good and broken. Yep, I say that does it. Um, the issues have seemed to clear it up, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. And um, yeah, like always, I want to encourage you to be performance driven in life and demand greatness. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.